Dex Garage Channel back here again. I have done a motor swap on this thing because that 20 horse V-Twin, it was not sensitive on the get up and go. But I have put my old 14 horse on it that was on the Murray. I've made a couple changes to it and more on the way to it. About to make this thing into a bad A motor. But I have welded on two sets of bolts for this catch can. Two here and two here. The reason is I did these and these. These I thought I could do like a certain guy on YouTube did, like Fearless Run. I'll link a video of that in the description. But I wanted to do like he did. But my only problem is the clearance with the gas tank. You may be saying I could move the gas tank back, but the only problem is it would enter collide with the steering uh, column shaft. So instead of doing that, I just welded, them, welded two new bolts over here. I'm going to install the catch can over here, which I have it right now. I'm not going to install it. This is just a rough fit. The real ones all will be in about probably a couple weeks or so once I get the intake stuff figured out and made up. And it is red to match the motor. Now I'm going to leave these on here just in case if I get a Murray wide body. So I just could switch it over and get more line and run it. But yeah, and I also did get a starter cover finally. But on from the motor part, on the trans axle. There's nothing wrong with the trans axle. It's right here. It's right here. The shifter right here, when I welded it, it snapped. I tried to re-weld it, it snapped again when I tried to shift it. I was trying to bend it downwards to get it to have more of a leverage on it. And it snapped on me. I had to try to re-weld it. That didn't turn out well. I, I tried to weld it several times. It wouldn't hold. And I finally got it to hold. And then I put it back on the tractor. And I tried to shift it. It just broke while shifting. But I have relocked the rear end. Right here. So this is a posi rear end. Finally. Probably. Hopefully once and for all. Last time I welded it. I only did like three little tack welds and it was like two on one side and one on the other because I didn't mm, weld the other side and the one that was slightly tacked on the one it was barely even touching the gear so I finally just yesterday I welded it up and said screw it or no it wasn't yesterday the day before yesterday I welded it up but anyways I welded it up and it locked the nail and I got it even but all I got to do to this tractor now is put the head gasket on the motor I got to put a little bit of silicone sealant in the one of the bolt holes on the bottom of the crankcase I got to finish the cheese handle shifter got to replace this plastic piece with a metal piece turn this one plastic to metal just got to cut it out Mark it out, cut it out, and put it in place, and cut it, and tack it in, and weld it in. And I did get a little bit of paint on the seat, but that would probably wear off from riding it and everything. But yeah. There's the box that that uh, catch can came in. This uh, line that comes with it. I am going to test it and see if it is oil and gasoline safe. So, it will withstand. Up. I don't think I got any regular gas right now. I think all that we got is uh, premium and supreme. But they both work great. That would be the gasoline side of it, but I need the regular due to ethanol. Because I believe there is less ethanol in the upper grades, the premium and uh, 
supreme three. But yeah. Until next time. All I need to do a head gasket replacement. I got to resurface the head and block, and then do a head gasket replacement. So until the next time, comment, rate, and subscribe. Find me on Google Plus, and find me on Facebook.